Have you ever wondered what happens at the heart of a black hole? Black holes, celestial spectacles that have long intrigued and bewildered scientists and stargazers alike. Imagine a cosmic body with a gravitational pull so intense, so powerful, that nothing, not even light, the fastest thing in our known universe can escape. This is the traditional understanding of black holes. They are all-consuming, insatiable entities, swallowing stars, planets and light, leaving nothing but a void in their wake. The very nature of black holes presents a paradox to our understanding of the physical world. According to the law of conservation of energy, energy cannot be created or destroyed, only transformed. So, what happens to the energy of the matter that finds itself swallowed by a black hole? Traditionally, it's been thought that anything that enters a black hole is obliterated, destroyed beyond recognition. But this seems to contradict our understanding of energy conservation. This paradox has led scientists to ponder, could there be some mechanism, some process at work within the black hole that allows for the transformation, rather than the destruction of energy? Could these cosmic vacuums be more than just the universe's garbage disposals? Black holes are enigmatic, they are mysterious, and they challenge our understanding of the universe. They are the epitome of the unknown, the unexplored. They represent the ultimate frontier of cosmic exploration, a frontier that we are only just beginning to understand. As we delve deeper into the mysteries of our universe, we continue to uncover more questions than answers. Our understanding of black holes is constantly evolving and with each new discovery, we are forced to reevaluate what we thought we knew. But what if there's more to black holes than we initially thought? Stay tuned as we delve deeper into the fascinating world of black holes and explore a theory that could potentially revolutionize our understanding of these cosmic enigmas. Opening. Enter the realm of Stephen Hawking, the renowned physicist who proposed a groundbreaking theory. Stephen Hawking, a name synonymous with groundbreaking discoveries in the field of theoretical physics, is best remembered for his revolutionary theory about black holes. Traditionally we've perceived black holes as the ultimate cosmic prisons, so dense that not even light can escape their gravitational clutches. But Hawking dared to challenge this notion. In the mid-70s, Hawking put forth a theory that quite frankly seemed as strange as the black holes themselves. He proposed that black holes could, in fact, emit particles, a phenomenon we now know as Hawking radiation. Now you might be wondering how this could be possible. Let's use an analogy to simplify the concept. Imagine the event horizon of a black hole as a busy highway during rush hour. Cars representing particles are zooming past at incredible speeds. Now, most cars are bound by the highway, just as particles are bound by the intense gravitational pull of a black hole. But every now and then, a car manages to take an unexpected exit, escaping the chaos of the highway. Similarly, Hawking proposed that occasionally, a particle could escape the black hole's event horizon and radiate away into space. This idea hinges on the principles of quantum mechanics, where pairs of particles and antiparticles spontaneously pop in and out of existence near the event horizon. If an antiparticle falls into the black hole while its partner particle escapes, the black hole loses a tiny amount of energy, or mass. This escaping particle is what we detect as Hawking radiation. It's a fascinating concept, isn't it? The seemingly invincible black holes, the cosmic conundrums that they are, might not be as all-consuming as we once thought. Closing. So, black holes aren't the cosmic vacuum cleaners we thought they were. They're more like cosmic highways, with occasional particles managing to hitch a ride away into the vastness of space. Hawking radiation indeed paints a riveting picture of our universe's enigmatic black holes. Why does this matter? Why should we care about particles escaping black holes? Excellent questions. Let's delve into the heart of the significance of Hawking radiation. The implications of Hawking radiation are vast and transformative. It fundamentally changes our understanding of black holes and the universe's life cycle. Traditionally, we've thought of black holes as all-consuming entities, swallowing everything in their path. But Hawking radiation suggests a different narrative. It proposes that black holes aren't just cosmic vacuum cleaners, but they can also evaporate over time. Here's the kicker. This isn't a quick process. We're talking about timescales longer than the current age of the universe for a black hole to fully evaporate. But the concept itself, the idea that black holes aren't eternal and can gradually fade away, is a game changer. But it doesn't stop there. Hawking radiation also bridges the gap between two major theories in physics that often seem at odds, quantum mechanics and general relativity. Quantum mechanics, the science of the very small, and general relativity, the science of the very large, don't always play nice together. Yet, within the realm of black holes, they intersect. 
Hawking radiation combines elements of both theories, representing a significant step towards a theory of everything, a unified description of all physical phenomena in the universe. In essence, Hawking's theory is a beacon in our quest to understand the universe. It challenges long-held beliefs and opens up new avenues for scientific exploration and discovery. It's about more than just particles escaping black holes. It's about reconciling the laws of the tiny and the gigantic, and painting a more complete picture of our universe. Hawking's theory thus changes not just our understanding of black holes but of the universe itself. Yet, the universe never stops surprising us. And so, the saga of the Hawking radiation continues. It's crucial to remember that this groundbreaking concept remains a theory. Despite the compelling mathematical evidence it has not yet been directly observed. The reason? Well, the technical limitations of our current scientific instruments. The radiation from black holes is just too weak and the universe too noisy. But here's the exciting part, the quest is far from over. Physicists worldwide are working tirelessly, developing new experimental designs, honing in on indirect evidence, and constructing more sensitive detectors. Each effort is a testament to our indomitable human spirit, our curiosity, and our relentless pursuit of knowledge. This ongoing exploration is not just about proving or disproving Hawking radiation, it's about pushing the boundaries of our understanding, about venturing into the unknown. It's about the thrill of discovery and the joy of exploration. As we continue to probe the depths of the universe, who knows what other mysteries we might unravel?